Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone We'll continue our lesson today On grammar Present simple and present continuous So please turn your pulse to textbook To page 15 Okay, in part 1 Study the table and choose the correct words To complete the rules Okay, what I want you to do here is For you to copy the table and also sentence A and B below it into your exercise book Present simple I usually hate museums Present continuous We are enjoying this street today So the rules below it A and B You need to choose the words in bold Which one is the correct one to tell you about the purpose of the present simple and present continuous A. Reuse the present simple to talk about activities in progress or to talk about habits B. We use the present continuous to talk about activities in progress or to talk about habits So which is which? Okay, let's look again at the example I usually hate museums that is under present simple saya biasanya tidak menyukai museum usually hate museums so for a we use the present simple to talk about habits and b we use the present continuous to talk about so, the answer is Activities in progress We are enjoying This trip today Kami sedang merasa seronok Dengan perjalanan kami pada hari ini Okay, that is part 1 Basic usage of present simple And present continuous Okay, now in part 2, we are going to learn about time words okay, the, the instruction, study the time words table and complete the sentences with the correct tense okay, Time words Perkataan yang menerangkan tentang masa Time words plus present tense We use now, at the moment Today with the okay, blank space number one We use always, usually, often, sometimes, never, every day, once a week, month or year Once a week, once a month, once a year with the okay, blank space number two So you need to fill in the blank spaces with either present continuous or present simple So now, the first one We use now at the moment today With the, is it present continuous Or present simple Yes, very good For number one is Present Continuous So for number two we, uh, we use always, usually, often, sometimes, never, every day, once a week, once a month, once a year With the present simple Okay, now copy this time words table into your exercise book Okay, after we have done, now take a look at the box below Note the position of the time words and expressions Position Okay, the positioning of the time words and expressions Okay, the first example Harry sometimes goes to theme parks okay, Look at the verb Goes 
So for the first example here, goes, the, the tense is present simple. The second example, Harry is playing football at the moment. The verb is playing. So for the second example, it is in present continuous. So which is the time word in each of the sentences? For the first one, the time word is sometimes and in the second example, the time word is at the moment. So, you look at the positioning of the time words in each of the sentence. If the sentence is in present simple, usually the time words you put in before the verb see the verb is goes this is the verb goes the time word sometimes you put in before the verb and for the second example the sentence is in present continuous so you put in the time words at the end of the sentence Okay, that is basically where to put the time words depending on the tense. Okay, that is the end of part 2. Okay, make sure you copy the table and also the notes below it into your exercise book. Okay, now we have arrived at part 3 exercise on our topic today present simple, present continuous, and also time words. Okay, read the instruction. Copy and complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. Then, write the time expression in the correct place. Okay, just go through the example first. In July, Joe, okay, blank space, in the bracket, go to the beach every weekend. So, every weekend means setiap minggu. It is to show habits. So, that's why the answer, in July, Joe, okay, the verb go, we answered in present simple. Joe goes, Joe is singular. So, Joe goes to the beach every weekend. Okay, before this, I told you that if the answer or the tense is in present simple, usually the verb and the time words are close to each other. You put in the time words before the verb. But that is not for every case. For this example, the phrase every weekend you put at the end of the sentence so the rules that i told you before doesn't usually be the same you need to look case by case okay understand okay now copy the example into your exercise book and also sentences number one until number five like i show you on the screen Make sure you leave enough uh, space for you to write the answer. Okay, you may pause the video later and copy the sentences. But for now, I will show you the answer for number one. Okay, number one. Sam, okay, blank space, in the bracket, not go. Swimming on Monday. And the time word is usually. So in the bracket, you have not go. Not go. Not is negative. The subject is Sam. Sam is a singular subject. Okay, singular subject. And you have negative. 
So you need to write the sentence in negative form. So what should you fill in the blank? Sam, negative, not. Not, negative is doesn't for singular subject. Sam, doesn't. Okay, and then you have usually. And the verb is go, right? The verb in the bracket is go. So this is a present simple, which follows the usual rules. So you put usually, Sam doesn't usually go. You put in the time word before the verb. Okay, so the answer is Sam doesn't usually go swimming on Monday. Okay, so you try to answer from number 2 until number 5 and we will discuss the answers at the end of the lesson. For part 4, you are given a dialogue with blank spaces and you, you need to complete it with present simple or present continuous form of the words in brackets. Okay, now copy the dialogue in your exercise book and like before, please make sure you leave enough space for you to write the answer for each of the blank space. Okay, then, hi Kate, what you do? Kate, I go to Chessington World of Adventures. You know what it's like? Then, yeah, my brother and I go sometimes there. It's amazing. Kate, what be the best ride? Then, I love the Dragon Falls. You get wet at the end. Kate, it sound cool. Oh no, I not believe it. It rain. Okay, that is the passage. Okay, copy the passage, the dialogue into your exercise book. I will show you the answer for number one. Then, hi Kate, what you do? In the bracket, what you do? So, the pronoun is you, asking question. So, this must be in present continuous. What are you doing? Hi, Kate. What are you doing? Okay, that is the answer for number one. Okay, try to fill in all the answers from number two until number ten. As before, we will discuss the answers at the end of the lesson. Okay, now part 5, Grammar in Context, Art. Read the text and choose the correct answers. Art, my favorite subject. We, number 2, all about famous artists from the past and present. And we, number 3, ourselves too. Our teacher, Mr. Brown, number four, has lots of different techniques, but we, number five, them properly. Today, we, okay, number six, on a school trip to the National Gallery, which, number seven, one of the biggest collections of art in the world. We, number eight, Impressionism, as part of our GCSE art course at the moment, and I, number nine, forward to seeing some of Van Gogh's work. I, number ten, his paintings. Okay, so copy this passage into your exercise book. Okay, and then choose the answer from the box on the right. Okay, you are given three choices for each number, A, B, or C. Okay, copy the passage, choose the answer, and we'll discuss the answers at the end of our lesson today. Okay, you may 
start answering now. Now we dis continue our discussion for the answers from part 3. We continue with number 2. We, blank space, in the bracket, play tennis and the time word at the moment. So, at the moment, it means sekarang. Sekarang means sedang. So, the second answer should be in continuous form. So, the answer, we is plural, right? And then, the verb, play. So, the answer should be, we are, we are, we are playing. Okay, we are, or we are playing tennis. So, you put the time word at the moment. At the end of the sentence. So the answer we were playing tennis at the moment. Okay, that is the answer for number two. Okay, at the moment just continue, just put at the end of the sentence. So here I will erase, I will erase the dot here. We're playing tennis at the moment. Okay, next one, number three. My parents don't rent DVDs, but they, blank space, watch films on TV. The time word is sometimes. So, sometimes shows habits. So, habits, we use simple, right? Present simple. So, the answer, the pronoun here is plural, they. The verb is watch. So, the answer, my parents don't rent DVDs, but they. Okay, present simple, so you put in the time word before the verb, but they sometimes but they sometimes all right plural subject they and the verb watch in simple present in present simple so the spelling of the verb is watch so the answer my parents don't rent dvds but they sometimes watch films on tv Okay, number four, I, blank space in the bracket, not send, met, a text, message. Okay, the time word is now. Now means sekarang, sedang berlaku. So, the answer for number four must be in continuous form. The pronoun is I. And then the sentence is must be in negative so the answer I'm I'm not I'm not okay, in continuous send in continuous I'm not sending I'm not sending 
met a text message and then you put in the time word at the end of the sentence I'm not sending Matt a text message now so I erase the full stop here I'm not sending Matt a text message now okay that is the answer for number four and then last one number five my brother sing in the bracket sing the verb in the shower and the time word is always always means selalu habit habits must be used in present simple the pronoun the subject brother singular subject so the answer this should follow the, the the rule in the box above you put in always before the verb my brother always okay the verb sing singular subject so verb plus s my brother always sings in the shower my brother always sings in the shower okay that's answer for part three okay now let's discuss answer for part four exercise four okay we have done with the first one then hi kate what are you doing kate i go to the chessington world of adventures Okay, the answer is I'm I'm going I'm going to the Chessington world of adventures okay and then she asked you know what it's like okay the answer for number three okay the pronoun you so answer is do you know do you know what it's like okay that is answer for number three okay number four then yeah my brother and i go slash sometimes my brother and i sometimes go there my brother and i sometimes go there the answer must be in present simple so you put in the time word before the verb sometimes go there it's amazing okay next kate what be the best right okay she asked question so the answer is what the verb be what is what is the best right Okay, then I okay answer I love I love the dragon falls it is a statement so the answer must be in present simple I love the dragon falls you get wet you get wet at the end okay, Kate eat sound cool it sounds it sounds cool okay the subject is it it sounds cool oh no i okay negative not belief i don't i don't believe it i don't believe it it rain it it's raining i don't believe it it's raining okay these are the answer for exercise four okay do your own checking last but not least let's discuss the answers for part five by listening to the audio clip Okay, I will play the audio clip, you listen and you 
check your answers. Okay, let's start. Unit 1. Grammar in Context. Art. Exercise 6. Art is my favourite subject. We learn all about famous artists from the past and present, and we often paint ourselves too. Our teacher, Mr Brown, is teaching us lots of different techniques, but we don't always use them properly. Today, we are going on a school trip to the National Gallery, which has one of the biggest collections of art in the world. We are studying Impressionism as part of our GCSE art course at the moment, and I am looking forward to seeing some of Van Gogh's work. I love his paintings. Okay, that are the answers for exercise 5. Okay, do your own checking. Okay, and thank you. We see you again in other class. Bye.